all right this video is for darky and uh, anyone else that might uh, help or entertain uh, this video is to take the ECU out of a 2013 2011 to 2013 Ninja 1000 uh, I assume the Z1000s will be similar although not exactly the same uh, the first thing you want to do is get the bike in a position for repair and get it ready to take the ECU out. You know, I'll show you mine because I have mine uh, ready for this uh, procedure. Uh, this is what you want the bike to look like. You want to go ahead and get the side panels off, remove that radiator, get the exhaust out of there, get the motor out of there. You're going to have to pull the back wheel uh, to get the motor out, so go ahead and pull the front. I just do it so it looks, looks uh, similar, you know, looks the same, and then uh, you'll be ready to get the ECU out. Of course, all that's a big fat lie. You can do this to a completely stock bike. You don't have to remove anything. I'm just being a wise ass. Uh, we will need some tools, quite a few of them. So I'm gonna grab those now. Uh, I am confined, unfortunately, to this stupid walker because of my stupid leg. So this is going to take slightly longer than it would normally, but uh, you'll get the point. You can pull out your uh, iPhones or smartphones or whatever and get ready to do the stopwatch because I do believe this will take less than five minutes but if it doesn't you can record it yourself and tell me exactly how long it took so uh, now we'll grab the uh, tools that we need and quite a few of them so pay close attention this is exactly what we'll need we'll need a ratchet I like the stubby ones but you do whatever you gotta do I'm gonna grab an extension just because I like the extensions uh, and then we are going to need a 6 millimeter socket. I'm going to set this down for one second. So sorry. Go look at my tool tray. Alright. Now i got everything together. So, I'm going to hobble my happy ass over here to this motorcycle. I actually spent the morning putting the tail section and the seats and the tank and stuff back on this. Just so it would look like a stock motorcycle. Uh, so it would be more appropriate for what y'all be working on or what y'all be doing so I mean as you can see my stuff is virtually stock if your seat doesn't look like this you're gonna want to get it there that's a sergeant seat and it's super comfortable anyway if your stopwatches are ready uh, we'll get started so get ready to click start so I'm gonna grab the key I'm gonna put it in the back of the bike and pull the passenger seat off oh. Awesome. Now I got the passenger seat off. That's step one. Take our magic little wrench here. We're going to take the seat bolts loose. Step two. Sorry, this is awkward holding the camera and trying to work on this. I'm going to have to set it down here and eventually. Oh, of course, that one's loose and not going to want to come out. All right, no big deal. Let me fight with these seat bolts for one second as I'm eating up part of my five minutes. Oh. Here, I'm gonna set you on top of the tank. I think that'll I think that'll still give you a view, I'm not sure. If it don't, I will grab it and move it in a minute. I do gotta get this bolt out though. All right, bolts out. Now, stock seats off. Bam, bam. Or, if you're lucky, your aftermarket seats off because stock seat is terrible. All right, here's what we wanted. Now, on my particular bike, I have this fuse box, fuse box in the way, so it makes it a little more difficult. But basically, this piece right here, under here, is what you want. That's the stock ECU, and mine's already been resplashed, so it's already been out once. I have not practiced this this morning, so this may be more of a pain than it should be, uh, but I wanted to just be authentic. This wire on mine is for my my uh, cigarette lighter adapter. You won't have that on yours, hopefully, but uh, either which way. You'll, you'll have to remove this piece first. This is just a relay piece. Now, this is all in a rubber isolator, and you ain't going to hurt none of these pieces, so you don't have to be spending a lot of time to be awful soft with them. The, the uh, connectors all only go on one way, so you can't screw that up. Uh, I'm gonna set this up here for a second. I'm gonna try to pull this relay piece out. I just here. I'm gonna make sure you see that. I just pulled it sideways first, uh, which got it out of the rubber isolator, which is what I wanted. And now it's just left on these connectors. Now I'm gonna take these connectors loose, uh, which won't take no time at all. And just push down and pull them off. Of uh, course, that one's gonna be stubborn. All right, now. 
that is the uh, relay box out of the way and this again is the ECU that's what you're trying to get to so uh, I'm gonna pull this up off of that mount just to make my life a little bit easier and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to set this up because I need both hands but I'm gonna squeeze this ECU out of this rubber isolator I'm gonna slide the rubber isolator off of it as much as I pull it out of the rubber isolator I'm gonna take another picture this is where I'm at you're not hurting nothing you're not damaging nothing because that's rubber it'll go back to its original shape with no problem I'm just gonna pull this Wish I caught on my stupid cigarette lighter wire. Oh. Oh. And of course, this is the ECU out. It's not hurt, nothing's damaged. You're not going to hurt the wiring. And then just pull the uh, clips out. You take this. <laughs> And you mail it to this guy, and he'll make your bike run about 10,000 times better. So, uh, I don't know how I did on time. Uh, I hope I did all right, but hopefully that shows you how to do it, and uh, you can realize that it's super easy, and you're not going to hurt anything. If I can do it, and I'm all crippled, you can do it too. Hope you all have fun. Bye.